Welcome back everyone, today we will be reviewing Unit 7. Make sure to check out my previous reviews for important videos on the rest of the units and subscribe to know when I post my next one. Unit 7 talks about differential equations. Differential equations are equations relating a function and its derivatives. A simple example would be dy over dx equals 5y. As you can see, the function y and its derivative y prime are both there compared to a normal equation only having x and y. Oftentimes, we can also be asked to determine whether a function is a solution to the differential equation. We are given y and can differentiate to find y prime and y double prime. We plug in the derivatives and the original function in and validate that the two sides are equal. Slope fields are graphs of the solutions to a differential equation. Basically, it shows the derivative of a function at each xy coordinate through small lines. They indicate slope, and a horizontal line is drawn for a slope of zero, and a vertical line symbolizes the slope does not exist. Sometimes we may also be asked to draw a solution curve through a point, meaning the solution to the differential equation which passes through the specific coordinates. The shape will resemble the original function. An example MCQ like this may ask you to match an equation to the slope field. We look for patterns in the graph to identify the correct one. Since both terms are squared, all the slopes are either zero or positive. This narrows it down to B and D, which have no downwards facing lines. Next, we can go along the Y axis. X squared plus Y squared should increase quickly, but D has a slope at zero for the whole time. So our answer would be B. Slope field FRQs ask you to fill out a slope field. You simply need to make a table of x, y, and dy over dx, plug in the values, and approximate the lines for the slopes. They don't have to be exact, and just make sure that slopes of 4, for example, are more steep than slopes of 1. The next topic is finding solutions to differential equations through the separation of variables. There can be general solutions which will have a constant c, and particular solutions where we can solve for that constant using an initial point. Let's take a look. This equation has the variables y and t, which we will separate. Divide both sides by the y term, and multiply each side by dt. We now have them separated. Next, we integrate both sides and add plus c on the t side. Make sure to do this as it's worth points. c represents any constant, so we don't have to worry about the sign. Also, we raise both sides to e to get rid of the ln, and using the properties, c can be brought to the front. We get the general solution and plug in the initial condition to solve for the constant, and get our particular solution. The last topic is exponential growth and decay, which is a function to model things such as population. It's given by dy over dt equals ky, where k is a constant and y equals ce to the power of kt. c would be the initial value of y, such as a starting population of 100,000 people. Most of the time, we are given 1 or 2 points. Most of the time, we will be given 1 to 2 points and the exponential growth equation as shown in this problem. We have the points 0, 2, and 2, 4, so c equals 2. We plug in 2, 4 to the equation and solve for k. We plug this in again to the base exponential growth equation and plug in t equals 3 to find our final answer. That's the end of Unit 7. Slope fields should be pretty simple, and the main focus for this unit is definitely differential equations. Using separation of variables is a major topic, so leave a comment and I can answer any questions you have about it. Thanks for watching, and subscribe to know when I post my next video.